So if you invest $100 each month into an account earning 3% compounded monthly, how long will it take the account to grow to $10,000? So you might notice that this initial scenario is describing an annuity problem. Uh, so the annuity would be set up with a starting amount of $100. We're growing at 3% compounded monthly for I don't really know how many years yet. Uh, Right, so we've got a, uh, initial value of 100, we've got our rate of 3% and our compounding, uh, monthly, and we don't know how many years we're talking about. Okay, so, but, so now, in order to answer this question, what we're really wondering is when will the amount we end up with be 10,000? So we're gonna stick in 10,000 on the left here. Now, point oh, let's go ahead and start simplifying a little bit. So 0.03 over 12 is 0.0025 to the 12n minus 1 over 0.0025. Okay, so now let's start solving for n. Now this is a little bit tricky of a process here because there's a lot of things going on, but let's see if we can work th our way through it. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this fraction here by multiplying both sides by uh, 0.0025. So we're going to multiply this side by 0.0025 as well. On the right hand side, this is going to reduce or cancel with the denominator there. On the left hand side, we'll go ahead and multiply. 10,000 times 0.0025 is, is 25. So we got 25 equals, uh, 100 times 1.0025 to the 12n minus 1. So now let's get rid of that divi uh, that 100. So we're going to divide both sides by 100, which again will reduce it on the right. On the left hand side, 25 divided by 100 is uh, 0.25. So we got 0.25 equals 1.0025 to the 12n minus 1. Now, again, we're trying to get that exponential by itself here, so let's go ahead and add 1 to both sides. So now I've got 1.25 equals 1.0025 to the 12n. I need to get some of this out of the way, so hold on, let me get some of this out of the way. Now we have the exponential by itself there, uh, so now we can apply the logarithm to both sides of the equation. And the logarithm lets us take that exponent and pull it down in front. So we'll have log of 1.25 equals 12n times the log of 1.0025. So now we can pull out our calculators. So on here, we've got 1.25 logarithm is 0.0 6, uh, 969, so 0.0969. On the right hand side, we've got 1.0025 log of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply that by 12 now. So times 12 is 0.0130. 0.0130. O one three O at n. So now I can divide both sides by 0 0.013, 0 0.013, uh, and let's see what I end up with. So we got 0 0.069, uh, 969 divided by 0 0.013 is 7.454. So n is 7 point, what did I say, 454, 454 years. So it's going to take, uh, a little over, uh, or a little under seven and a half years for this account to grow to $10,000.